until now. The problem of measuring the complexity of objects, such as graphs, has eluded scientists. Most existing methods, coming for example from graph theory, can deal only with a single feature of the graph at a time, and not a full characterization of all its properties. Some of these measures introduce new information not present in the original graph, but most of them discard important information, either overestimating or underestimating graph properties. We have introduced a robust method to measure graph complexity based upon the accepted mathematical theory of randomness. This measure of complexity is based on the probability that a graph can be produced by a random computer program. A computer program is usually conceived to work on a one-dimensional tape. By replacing this one-dimensional tape with a two-dimensional one, we can define the complexity of a graph as the probability of a random computer program to produce the adjacency matrix of that graph. By considering computer programs working on higher dimensions, such as a grid, a cube, and beyond, we can conceive and define native measures of complexity for objects of any dimension. Most socially and naturally occurring phenomena that can be represented as networks look random in some ways, but they are not because the world follows rules and laws. Unlike other measures that can be easily fooled by apparent statistical randomness, ours takes into consideration possible mechanistic generating processes that may look random on the surface, but are, in fact, deterministic. The theory of randomness tells us that if a graph can be generated by many computer programs, then it has low algorithmic complexity, because short computer programs are more likely to be produced by chance. Conversely, a graph that can be only generated by very few random computer programs has high algorithmic complexity. The graph is not only statistically random, as it would be suggested by a measure such as Shannon entropy, but also algorithmically random, meaning that the graph is not a causally generated object. Indeed, not all random looking graphs are random. Some may look random and yet are causally generated by a short generating mechanism. For example, the description of a complete graph grows very slowly because its description is very short and simple and thus likely to be produced by chance. But the description of a random graph grows much faster because every edge has to be specified and no edge in the graph can be explained by any other part of the graph. We have proven both theoretically and numerically that the graph complexity as measured by this approach is independent of the different representations in which a graph can be described. And thus, we consider our method to be a robust solution to the challenge of graph complexity.